Yeah, it's nice fun. meeting people from the uh, YouTube and stuff. Oh well, yeah, like I said to Kim, hey, why not? He's in the area, so yeah, you know, we'll invite you over. I actually felt a drop of rain. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. But uh, I can come out and visit for a while and sure. see what's going on out there. No worries. You're, you're on tonight again, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you want, you can come on the station with us. Well, I have a Mavic Pro. I don't know if you've seen yeah. from my videos, but one time I, I just I'm, I moved into this thing full time. Okay. So I got out of the house. But I, when I was in the house, I was sitting on the front step and put it out there and I lifted up took it out I was gonna go up in the middle of the street mm -hmm. well I, I got out far I thought far enough but when I went up I hit the uh, power lines uh -huh. I got myself a spark but uh, I don't I didn't buy a remote control yet oh yeah I see I you're looking for one yeah yeah I'm looking for one so so yeah okay so what I just follow you and mm -hmm. out where you're going and if you need gas dollar 29 good price because it just went down we were at a dollar 38 what yeah it came down like 10 cents yeah. Yeah. But where are you going from here after that? I mean, like, uh, well, <clears throat> I drove as fast as I could from Alberta to the coast. Okay. I wanted to. I, I've never been as far as Winnipeg. Okay. So I want to see the east. So I went to the east coast, put my feet in the ocean. <laughs> Yay! I made it to the Atlantic. <laughs> now I'm slowly going back. Okay. So I'm back. I'm in Quebec now. Yeah. Heading back. Oh, you're heading back to... Uh, yeah, and then uh, once I get to my home, which is like near Calgary, I don't know if you heard of yeah. Medicine Hat, that's where I'm from, and then I want to go to Vancouver so I can winter there. Yeah. I think for the um, an average one-bedroom apartment, mm -hmm. $2,100. Yeah. These are my mascots. <laughs> I do geocaching, okay. and that's what he's all about. That's the numbers on the back there. Okay. So my last video was with, like how not to geocache mm -hmm. because I did everything wrong and I've, I've been geocaching for years but usually I don't know do you know geocaching no, at all? Not really, not really. It's little little tiny things like um, Tupperware containers that are hidden oh, all okay, over the okay. world. Oh yeah I saw your video. And yeah you I go, saw the video where you found them. You go wonder. find those and they're hidden and yeah. uh, you walk by them all day long <coughs> but uh, Usually when you got on your GPS and it says over that way, you start just walking right yeah, that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know that there's a path going nicely around. So you're just over the mountains, over yeah, the through yeah. the gutters. And, and I went everywhere and I ended up going the wrong way anyway. It was over there and not over there. <laughs> so And I, you know, I, with my experience, I should have known better. So I said, I just have to make a video of that, like doing everything wrong. Mm -hmm. oh, look, um, whenever you're ready, we'll... Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually ready. I was just making a... A cover. Okay, I've just met a fellow um, YouTuber who's uh, into drones and has a, a live feed every day, actually, every morning. And uh, we're heading out to his place. We're at uh, Drummondville. And he came to pick me up at, uh, at Walmart here. It's, um, I couldn't figure out where he lived on my GPS. It wasn't quite, uh, wasn't quite correct. I could have gotten the area, but... Anyway, we're going to fill up some gas, and then we're off to his place. Yeah, I just wanted to say thanks to Roger and uh, Kim. Um, they really helped me out a lot. Uh, they don't realize that, but th they did. And uh, the hospitality was just something else. Um, they kept wanting to do things for me, and I, I don't know. I just uh, I felt uncomfortable when I'm being catered to like that. That was amazing. I could have just sat on the poolside and snapped my fingers and they would have been doing things for me but um i hopefully i pulled my own weight and and helped the best i could uh the day i got there we did some flying uh, kim and i and actually kim is quite a good pilot he flies his drones like you would not believe the ghost drone that he flew there and the and the tiny little um drone he had was just amazing how he could fly those things around and when we were flying out in the field I wasn't I didn't actually realize he was trying to track me I was just flying around um, if I'd have known he was trying to track me I'd have stood still for a minute so he could get locked on but he says I'm locked on now wow. and uh, he says I'm locked on now and I didn't know what was uh, what what was going on what he meant so 
I was just flying around. He couldn't catch up to me. He couldn't. Uh, I, I was turning and bobbing around, and uh, he was trying to track, uh, keep track of me. So um, anyway, sorry about that. Otherwise, it would have been a much better, much better video. Anyways, I had a lot of fun. It was just fantastic. It was great. Uh, they have a perfect place to take your drone up. It's out in the country. Uh, you can go, there's fields, there's trees, there's, oh man, it's just incredible how, how nice it was there. And you could fly anywhere you wanted to. So, like I said, I was all over the place because it was new to me. Yeah, I got the window open here and it's just uh, noisy. Uh, but I just wanted to say thank you to uh, Roger and Kim for everything they did did for me. Um, one other thing was I started out with, I'm, I'm very new to YouTube, and I had something like 50 subscribers. And uh, since I've known them for the past three days, up, all of a sudden I was up to 100. I, like I doubled my subscribers. And um, the all the people that are on the live stream are just they're great they're just like a family they kept calling them that's their family and sure enough they they really are um, they look out after each other they um, they're fun um, they treat you like you are part of the family they don't talk down to you at all or in any way shape or form so I felt right at home there when I was there um, uh, they all treated me like like fairly good like a king <laughs> like King Tut um, they asked a few questions I answered the best I could so I just wanted to say thank you to all my uh, subscribers now and and, and to uh, Roger and Kim and, and uh, all the people that that go on the um, the live streams and there's a, a, quite a few other live streams that they go on to also and I'll be joining those when I when I get the opportunity um, usually I like to travel during the morning time so that when I get to where I'm going I can stop and edit videos but uh, so when Roger has his stream on I'm usually on the highway driving but um, there'll be times when I can pop in and and say hi and I'll pop into a few other ones and and say hi and uh, so thank you guys for for having me